Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here. Just wanted to first thank you for emailing me today and let me know of your interest in potentially helping out at coplock.org with editing. Uh, the purpose of this video is to bring you up to speed on what you can expect if you do, in fact, help us in that capacity and uh, then uh, share some of the functionality on the back end with people who aren't familiar with WordPress, which is uh, what the site coplock.org is based on. So if you are familiar with WordPress, please just hang with us, hang with me for a, uh, a few minutes here. I'll go over some real brief basics. If you're not familiar with WordPress, please watch this whole uh, video just to get up to speed. And then if you have any questions that aren't addressed, let me know. I'm always available for you at Pete at coplock.org. So real briefly, coplock.org, obviously we're all familiar with this website. This is the front end. This is what people see when they visit coplock.org. Um, if you do want to be an editor after seeing this video and, and you think uh, you know you have the time and interest to help out even if it's 15 minutes a week or you know a couple hours here and there whatever you choose to do um, I will send you I'll create for you a user account and then I will uh, send you the username the uh, password and uh, I get this link which goes at the back end uh, same with all WordPress sites. It's, it's the website name, coplock.org slash WP for WordPress dash admin. So this will bring you to a login screen. I created a, uh, uh, a test account that has user permissions at an editor, editor level, which is the same level that you'll have if I create an account for you. Again, if you express interest that you uh, do want to edit. Um, so once you're on the back end, you click on posts um, you can either click posts or all posts and then uh, click on drafts these drafts come to us from uh, coplock.org slash submit uh, when people go to coplock.org slash submit and you know they write whatever title body they could share an image a video and some other information once it's submitted it gets fed to the back end of coplog and saved as a draft so this is where I'm hoping to find, to get some help from you from you. So again, appreciate you already expressing your interest. So once you're on the back end, after you've clicked on drafts, you can either click on the name of a post or you can click on the edit button right below the name. So let's assume uh, you're ready to edit a post. You just click on the edit button or the name again, and this is. I'll, first, I'll go over some things uh, real briefly for folks that are familiar with WordPress just so they can uh, know our process here at Coplock, and then I'll do a more uh, more in-depth about WordPress and more basic functionality if, if WordPress is new for you. So the things to keep in mind for at uh, when editing at Coplock, uh, in addition to the, the title, which you want to try to make concise and succinct, either have a hook or... Uh, at least have it be detailed enough that it sort of speaks to the content that people can expect to find on the post itself should they click on it. Um, it also the body for you know obvious reasons. Uh, in the categories you want to select one of three different uh, categories for sure. So at Coplock that's either featured, quick hits, or video. So for example this one, um, let's say I want to make it uh, I'll point it out here on the front end of the site. So if you're editing on the back end, you select either Featured, Quick Hits, or Video. If you select Featured, the post is going to feed to this slider right here on the home page. And we try to put make Featured posts the ones that are uh, really the higher caliber, sort of maybe the original posts or things that are um, you know have the potential to get shared a couple hundred times. So that's wh that's where the featured posts go, and I'll show you this on the back end. Uh, these categories are uh, assigned; they're uh, listed alphabetically. So you click on featured. One, if this post were published, it would feed to this slider right here. And we try to put you know one featured post out a day if we can, um, with more editors uh, involved. You know, hopefully we can. That could, should be easy to accomplish, and maybe even uh, more than one. Uh, alternatively, if there's a video, um, video had already been selected, so it was up top. Click the video box, the video category, and it'll get fed to this video box here. So the most recent one will be sh displayed here, and then it'll kind of push down. This is the last video shared before that, 
and this was the last video I showed before this one. Um, and I'll show you where that's at so uh, you have an idea. So let's say you want to embed this video about the police state. Um, click the share button under the video, click the embed button, and then just copy the embed code. And then on the back end, scroll all the way down to, where, to this text box that says embed code, and just paste it in here. And then once the, you have the video category selected, it'll, it'll um, get fed to this area correctly. And if you put the video embed code on the in the bottom of the post on the back end, it'll get fed to the top of the post on the front end, as this one shows with the text below it. Uh, alternatively, if it's if you want to uh, publish a post and you want to have this video in it, but you don't, but the video maybe isn't the strongest component of it, or uh, maybe it's maybe it's just uh, one of a lot of content on the post itself. Uh, for example, Canadian agents. Uh, treatment leaving American hospitalized and you wanted to put a video right here in the middle um, you could just click on the HTML tab and I know you can't see this because my video feed is in the way but on the top right of the um, box here of the uh, body content box there's two tabs one says visual and one says HTML and so you click on the HTML tab you could uh, embed the video URL or the embed code and you'll see that a video box is now here and with cop block the width on the post area is 600 pixels so you want to um, have the video 600 pixels or as close to it uh, by just clicking on the video and dragging a corner and you'll see the pixel size moving right now so now it's about 600 pixels uh, it, if you use this video embed box, again, if you're feeding it to the video area on the home page, you don't have to mess with the width. It'll automatically resize. Um, so that's uh, the featured post, the video post, and the last option, uh, that one of three of which you should choose for every post, either, either make it a featured post, a video post, or the last option is a quick hit. And the quick hit gets fed to the the one of eight boxes here on the bottom of the home page these are all quick hits so the most recent one published goes on the top left and they just push the content down automatically so if you're editing on Coplock again please uh, have, make sure it has a good title make sure you're happy with the body uh, select the appropriate category one of three for sure either featured quick hit or video and then any other category that's relevant and then put in related tags. So I always put in coplock and coplock.org. And then I, I tend to do the tags at the very end when the post is done. And I go through and I, and I write down the names. Uh, I include the names of people listed on the post. I include agencies involved, locations, things like that that are going to help with the search engine optimization. So if somebody searches for it on Google, it's going to appear closer to the top and then get more eyes on it. So if you're new to WordPress, um, well, I guess that's about it. If you're familiar with WordPress, you can probably stop watching this video now. Everything else is pretty standard, um, except I'll just say that once you're happy with the post, you could just publish it right then. Um, that, that'll allow for timely content. And uh, one thing you could do as well, since you are most familiar with the post since you're editing it, is to include your own uh, thoughts at the top. And I usually do this through italics, like this is showing right now. Um, this will both give you a voice, really show the decentralized nature of Coplock, all the different perspectives uh, people bring to the table, uh, as well as help to focus attention on some of the key points, especially if you're sharing an um, article that comes from a mainstream media source, or maybe a write-up from somebody who was, who's, who was wronged by uh, someone wearing a badge. Uh, it, it may It's a good opportunity to kind of focus attention on what the key points are, you know, so some mainstream media article may not uh, sort of strike the root or uh, may go real easy on somebody who wrongs somebody else just because of their place of employment. And so this is your this is your opportunity to uh, distill that down and, and point out uh, some of the things you want people to think about. So 
you know, anywhere from one sentence to four sentences or, you know, even longer if, if it if you deem that necessary. And it, But you don't have to do this, but I encourage you to do so because, again, it'll help show the diversity of folks involved with CopLock. It'll give you an opportunity to let your own voice be heard. So once you're happy with all those things, you can publish it right then so it's timely. It goes out the door and gets eyes on it right away. And uh, content published at CopLock.org is automatically tied into our Facebook page at, cop, at uh, facebook.com slash coplock uh, through network blogs, which some of you are, are familiar with. So what that means is when you do publish a post here, it'll go live on the website, and it'll also also be pushed to the Facebook page so and to the Twitter page. So it'll, um, it gets, we have a footprint in a lot of mediums, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's uh, that automated publishing like that is a good thing. So, um I will probably uh, be in touch for those of you that do start editing at Coplock. I'll probably be in touch, you know, especially in, uh, you know, right after you start editing with some feedback, whether it's constructive criticism or praise or whatever. But just to try to get us all on the same page. And and obviously, if you have any questions as you uh, edit, hit me up, Pete at Coplock.org, and I will uh, do my best to answer that. And after I see that, uh, you know, you you do. Uh, uh, invest some time in editing, you know, maybe after a few posts or whatever, I'll get in touch with you and solicit your mailing address and styles and size of uh, some swag you might want, whether that's a hoodie, t-shirt, hat, some other stuff, and uh, get you hooked up with that. It's just as a small token of thanks. And so that's about it with the big, uh, big picture stuff that makes it, uh, that might be specific to Coplock. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with WordPress, let me know and I will uh, bring you up to speed on it one on one. Well, we can have a Skype conversation. I could call you over my Google Voice number. I could send you an email. Or on the back end here at the very bottom of the navigation bar where it says manual, there's a, there's a uh, tab that says videos. And WordPress has created a lot of really short and uh, easy to grasp tutorials on all sorts of uh, WordPress functionality. So I encourage you to check this out too if you're lost. Or you could always just use Google and search around, or definitely hit me up, and I will uh, do my best to answer your questions. Um, again, I just want to underscore, like, you as an editor have a lot of uh, discretion. So if you come across a post that you think doesn't fit with CopLock, that you don't think brings anything to the table, um, you can trash it. Or if somebody... Uh, ask a question, you know, feel free to email and respond to them and do your best to answer it. Or um, if you have a question about something or you think a post needs more uh, background done, feel free to dig in and, and poke around. Um, I really, I don't want to be, a, a, I'm definitely not a micromanager. I'm just, I want to be your colleague in this uh, and uh, work together so that at some point the site is not even needed so that uh, the, the idea that somebody can get away with things or have claim double standards because of their place of employment is is uh, as ludicrous as, it, as I think it sounds to myself right now so um, you might also notice when you click on the drafts uh, I'll go to the last page here some of them say uh, in capital letters at the beginning uh, well this one says waiting for additional info don't publish Katie that's another editor we might write notes on here don't post yet awaiting more info so in that case obviously you don't even have to worry about these posts somebody else is kinda working on them and we're just we're just waiting for some relevant information before they're made live But I think that's about it again I appreciate your interest um, if you do uh, have the interest in helping us out just reply to this email let me know and I'll uh, let me know your preferred username whether that's a real name or a, a fictitious, fictitious name an avatar whatever you want and I'll create it for you a user profile and respond to your email with the login information and you should be good to go so uh, thanks in advance I look forward to working with you alright peace